Hello, guys. Hello. What's your names? My name is Marie Jose. And my name is Jason. And today we're going to be dancing together. So, you guys are just dance partners? Yes, just friends. Just friends, friends. Good. Now, this evening performance, is there a theme or a story behind it? It's a personal story that I have lived. I'll leave it at that. Okay. What do you want people to take away from this performance? We would love to start a conversation and speak a truth that is happening amongst many, many people. Okay, the stage is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. J'avais jamais vu de nuit aussi calme Et ces larmes coulent en silence, on entend toujours les cigales On se blesse de même avec zéro mot Pourtant aucun mur sur cette terre ne pourrait étouffer le cri de nos phéromones On risque pas de tenir longtemps Tu m'as même comparé à Lucifer Maintenant tu bois et tu veux bien de moi Non mais j'hallucine hein Je sais déjà ce que la distance entraîne Soit c'est la guerre pendant dix ans sans trêve Soit je la quitte en lui disant Bébé ça moins fort que j'oublie que c'est le chaos Autour c'est le chaos Regarde-nous le destin pas honte Les dieux ont pas honte J'ai tout foiré cette année c'est toujours en chantier Est-ce qu'on peut revenir en janvier Son regard me traverse le corps comme une longue aiguille On dirait bien qu'on est cuit Nous deux dans la même voiture on fonce vers la mort On se déteste tellement qu'on refait l'amour Parce que c'est comme de la drogue on a de quoi planer Sur son dos mon corps se fait de l'aquaplaning Le problème c'est que ça me rappelle pourquoi je l'aime Je revois le début, les premières semaines On pourrait repartir à zéro et prendre le premier avion Comme dans un film de merde Notre histoire n'aurait jamais pu finir Dans le calme et la tendresse Je te déteste comme cette phrase qui dit C'était trop beau pour être Je n'avouerai jamais que certaines de Mes propres émotions m'effraient Je te déteste comme cette phrase qui dit C'était trop beau pour être Do you guys want to talk about the performance, the story? It's a hard subject to talk about, which is why we used our tool, which is dance. Words simply can't express enough, or it's hard to find the right ones. It was an incredibly powerful performance with an incredibly powerful message. Um, the choice for you to do something so vulnerable shows so much strength and courage. So to shed light on this and to talk about this through your art, um, I applaud you. Thank you. On top of that, it was an absolutely breathtaking, spectacular, incredible performance. Thank you. The fact that you bring such artistry to such a dark, problem that I think so many people are suffering right now in silence through is pretty amazing. That was absolutely brilliant. Thank you. It's, it's strange because a lot of acts come on this stage and their goal is to make the audience loud and scream and cheer and you just prove that there's great power and also leaving people speechless. I don't think I've ever heard the theater that pin drop silent 
after performance, not because it wasn't amazing, it's because everyone's breath was literally taken away. And you absolutely nailed every moment of that performance. Thank you. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your story. As hard as it was to watch, it was equally as beautiful. And that is what really blew my mind. And I think what's amazing is that people are not going to leave here heavy. They're going to leave here a lot lighter because of the light that you guys brought to the stage. Thank you. I'd like to start off the votes with your first yes. Thank you. Party? Proudly, it's a yes from me. Thank you. Lily? Absolute yes from me. And Howie? Dance acts always say they have a story to tell. There has never been a clearer, more important story told, and I'm glad it was told on this stage. You have four yeses. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Thank guys. You. Thank you so much. Are you? A little nervous, but also very nervous. What is your name? <laughs> uh, my name is Stephanie Rainey. How old are you? I'm 36. I'm guessing you're going to sing for us tonight? I am. And for how long you've been doing this? Oh, since I was probably 18. Is this your first time like attempting to be in a competition like AGT? Yeah, I've had a very kind of roller coaster career, I would say. The song that I'm going to play for you today um, has had quite a big moment in the past. And we made it in just a tiny room and put it up one Monday morning. And it just, by the end of the day, it had a million views. What? Wow. And then I signed a deal after the song came out. I think I probably didn't fully know who I was back when I signed that deal. The journey from then until now has been hard. It's a tough industry, you know? Yeah. You have to be resilient. And I think sometimes when the downs come, you have to be willing to kind of pick yourself back yeah, up. Yeah. Um, so here I am. So the song is called... It's called Please Don't Go. I wrote it about losing my nephew when I was a teenager. He was about to turn one. It was the day before his first birthday and he passed away. Oh, sorry. And it took me a long time to write a song about it. Honestly, I was about to give up music. So I was like, I want to make something for me that I believe in. So this song means more to me than I can actually like, even describe. Good for you for doing that and not giving up. I do know how difficult the music business is. There's so many great people who are giving up, and that's why a platform like this is still really, really important. Absolutely. And who do you play with? Uh, my best friend, uh, Sarah, she's here with me today, and uh, she's been on every single step of this journey with me from the very beginning. Okay, well, look, we're rooting for you. Thank you. <laughs> your hand till it goes cold I hold my tears until you go With all the life that leaves your bones It soaks the purpose from my own I know 
hold you best I'll keep you through these last few breaths And kiss and love you till the end song you can tell what you went through it was very simple and perfect very few acts move people and that was one of the most relatable emotional moments we've had on season 19 so thank you so much oh yeah your voice sounded amazing on this stage it was just a real special moment well done thank you of all the new songs I've heard this year, this is the best by a mile. And even though it's about something really sad, it's real. And your voice is beautiful. A lot of people are going to resonate with that song and you. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much. Bethany, I'm going to give you your first yes. I'm also going to give you a yes. You got it. Yes. I think I'm going to give you about 4,000 yeses. That was what I call a moment. That song is so beautiful. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. over. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, welcome. Hi, how are you doing? We're good. How are you, more importantly? We're a bit nervous. I need a wee, but I'm fine. <laughs> Tell us your names, please. I'm Denise. And I'm Stefan. OK, and how do you know each other? We're married. Mem oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Where did you meet? We're both involved with an award ceremony and Denise was presenting and I was the guy playing piano for two hours while everyone else has a three-course meal. <laughs> Got it. But we met on the tube train going there and uh, I didn't realise he was the bloke who was playing for me that evening and he leaned over and asked me for the time. It was 2006, so, you know, people did that then. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the chances of a blind man asking a blind woman on a train for the time. <laughs> <laughs> and that was how many years ago? That was 18, 18 years ago. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any kids? Yeah, I've got three older ones. Two of them are here today. And then we've got one together. Dimitri, he's 11. I'm talking about you. <laughs> OK, well, nice to meet you both. And why this year BGT? Tell us. Well, let's be honest, as performers, the last few years haven't been a lot of fun. And then just as everybody was getting back into work, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh. And so I was having chemo and having my, half of my favourite boob taken off. <laughs> <laughs> Thelma and Louise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, and how are you now? I'm fine, I've had a clear scan and my hair's grown back. Yeah. And you got a whole new head of hair, which yeah, is a totally different yeah, so colour, I, and curly. I was a ginge before. <laughs> OK, so you've come through it, and now you thought, right, we're going to come on BGT. Yeah, we just want to grab the bull by the horns, you know, and just yes. ta take every opportunity. Yeah. OK, well, look, Amazing. we are really rooting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stefan. 
and just grope his way around the piano. You think I was blind or something? <laughs> <laughs> They're very funny old mum and dad. That all the time. Does he? <laughs> Are you ready? Very impressive and good. Very impressive. We always say this, you know, without people like you, this show is nothing. And it's true. I'm so happy that you made the decision to come on our show. I think you're both amazing people. Thank you. Your whole attitude is actually quite unbelievable. In the opening chat, I thought, wow, well, you're so naturally funny. I wondered whether you were going to do comedy. Yes, I hope you weren't disappointed. No, no. <laughs> that vocal was faultless. It was beautiful. I'm actually inspired by you. I've learned something today about your positive state of mind and the ability to have a sense of humor about yourself. Yes. We all need to know that. You are an example. You really have. I admire you and inspired by you. Bruno, yes or no? Yes! Judges will decide. Alicia. Huge yes for me. Million yeses, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you the How many yeah. in the audience? 
I think it's about 4,000. Yeah. What? That's great. But they yeah. only Are you actually make... having a laugh? No. no. <laughs> but they only make that noise when the acts are good. And you were really good. No, your mom don't get it, and your dad don't get it, Uncle John don't get it. And you can't tell Grandma, cause her heart can't take it, and she might not make it. They say, don't there, don't you even go there, cutting off your long hair, you do as you're told. Till you wake up, go put on your makeup. This is just a phase you're gonna outgrow. There's something wrong in the village, in the village. Oh, he's there in the village, in the village. But I know I am possible. Yeah! Yeah! There goes my heart beating. Cause you are the reason. I'm losing my sleep. Please call Musa Mota! Amazing! Musa, you know, we, we met in the UK. I'll never forget the very first time I, I saw him. It was one of those, you know, moments where you just go, I will never, ever forget that. There's something so amazing about you. And you, you just, everyone I was looking around, they were captivated. And I don't think the final would be the same without you. And I, I want to give you a little hand. These are the moments where I, I think about like when I was struggling a lot in hospital and then I kept on seeing people, you know, not making it, you know, but this is just like a manifestation of like everything that I was dreaming about is, ha is happening right now. People make some noise for Musa Mota! Hello, welcome both of you. Let's hear your names, please. I'm Stuart Walker. And I'm Jenna Walker. We're, We're brother and sister. Okay, and where are you from? 
We're Toronto, from. Canada. Woo! That's my country. What kind of music are you into? Country music. Country, brilliant. Right. Do you write your own songs? We do, we're actually gonna perform an original song. It's called People Don't Talk About. And tell me what it's about. We wrote this song probably two years ago. Our family's been through a lot of stuff that we kind of didn't feel comfortable talking about, and we wrote it about that. We felt like if we had this opportunity to get on this stage, and if we had one song to play, this would be the song. This is the one. I said 17 would have loved to hear this song. That's really important. And do you think you're gonna win? We've been chasing this dream for a long, long time, and we feel like it's just the right moment. And timing sometimes is everything, right? Exactly, yeah. Exactly. We're all rooting for you, so best of luck. Thank you. I like it when a group is a family. Yeah. I think they're going to be good. I grew up playing cowboys I like to play pretend A bunch of kids in a backyard Back when it made sense We would speak our minds And say just what we meant That was the old me Nobody told me That everything changes Reality sets in You better keep quiet If you want to fit in People don't talk about when it's 2 a.m. You're talking to yourself again. You're digging a hole. You're digging a hole. People, People don't, don't talk, talk about trying to be yourself, but feeling like you're someone else. You're not alone. You're not alone. Oh, I want to know everything that you don't. Take a load off, take a breath, say it all, then say the rest. If you let it out, you can let them in. People don't talk about when it's too late. You're talking to yourself again. You're digging a hole. You're digging a hole. People don't talk about trying to be yourself, but feeling like you're someone else. But you're not alone. You're not alone. Good, you two. Um, Howie, you're on your feet. First of all, your singing and your writing is impeccable. And I don't usually respond to lyrics like I'm responding to this. You know, I've been very open when my little soapbox is mental health and there's a stigma attached. And the thing that allows me to survive is the ability to talk about it. This song is an important song, and I think that you are gonna go a long way in this competition. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, I liked it too. I like the song. I love that you're siblings. I also feel that you really want it, and I feel like you deserve it. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. You did the right thing coming tonight to AGT because it was like a, a big treat for all of us. It was impeccable. Thank well, you. thank you. Thank you guys so much. That was a great, great audition. Seriously good. Unbelievably powerful. That song was stunning. So, Howie, yes or no? Yes. Yes. 
yes. Okay, that makes it four yeses. Congratulations. the world because really that did. song means so much to us just from what we've been through as a family in terms of mental health and that's what, what was important to us for, for how he didn't point that out immediately it was shocking because that's the whole point listen but, everybody here got it thank you thank you thank you thank, thank you we're amazing you. Gosh, you brought a lot of people with you. Tell me your names, please. Um, so I'm Ravi, and this is my sister Ma, and this is my mum and dad. Very, very nice to meet you. And how old are you? Um, so I'm eight years old. Okay. Oh. What made you decide to do this? I've watched BDT all my life and always wanted to audition for it. And two years ago, I was diagnosed with a brain tumour, and I'm here to show no matter what life throws at you, you can still achieve your dreams. Good for you. And how are you right now? Um, so, my brain tumour is stable, but I'm still living with, with the day-to-day -day effects. So you've had a really tough time, haven't you? Yeah. Tell me about all these people behind you. So, to support me, I bought a group of my friends and teachers from school, oh, my family, oh. yeah. some medical professionals who have helped me during my diagnosis, yeah. some other amazing children from the brain tumour community. <laughs> oh, God. Mum and Dad are joining in. And what are you going to be doing for us today? Um, so today we're doing a choir performance of A Million Dreams. Oh, my God. OK. Take your time. Whenever you're ready, we're ready.
I think you are a very talented, very brave, very special person. I'm so happy that you've had this moment, because you deserve it, all of you, by the way. That's what I call magic. Um, and that's why we have the golden buzzer for people like you. You so deserve it. You know, the golden buzzer is such a personal thing and I always say I can only press it when it feels right and you're such a remarkable you, young man. You're a hero. You really are. The moment you started talking, you just had me. Yeah. What you say? And um, just, I just loved it. Oh, so God. well done to all I... of you. Thank you for doing that. We'll see you in the live semi-finals. Hello. Very nice to meet you. And what is your name, please? Uh, I'm Richard Goodall. I'm from Terre Haute, Indiana. Uh... And uh, Richard, how old are you? I'm 55. 55. And what do you do for a living? I've been a janitor for 23 years. Uh, the kids call me Mr. Richard. OK. So tell me what the big dream is, please. My big dream? Uh, I like to sing. I love to sing. So. OK. Does everyone know you, you've come out today to audition? Uh, just, just my close-knit friends and, and my fiance, Angie. Oh. Is she here with you today? No. So I, she's the one you're going to call yeah. after the audition, yeah? Yes, immediately, yes. OK. All right. And the song you've chosen today, tell me why you chose it. Uh, well, uh, the, the, the song speaks for itself, so... OK. All right. I'm not going to ask any more questions. Let's do it. Good luck. Ah, oh, you a bit nervous. Yeah. Uh, it's okay, Richard. This has been a long time coming. Ah, so. oh, bless you. 
Let's go, Richard! Shake off those nerves. We're here. We're rooting for you, Richard. Good luck. I hope he's good. I know. I, hope I really so. do. Just a small town girl. Oh my God. Living in a lonely world. What? She took the midnight train going anywhere. Just a city boy. Born and raised in South Detroit. He took the midnight train going special, genuinely special. I think America is going to love you. I mean, that was spectacular. That was fun. This was an amazing surprise. I think you were perfect to come to AGT because you made our night. Thank you, man. You're beautiful. You, and maybe because you've been doing it for 23 years, but you just cleaned up. You just... <laughs> You know, I would imagine every kid that has ever been in a school with you is just screaming. I just think you're amazing. We love you, Richard! Richard, 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 you knocked me off my feet. I mean, we all had the best time with you up there on that stage. I really, really feel something when I see you up there and hear you up there. And now... This is what I'm gonna do for you because I love you. I'm late, but I'm here right now. Though I used to be romantic, I forgot somehow. Time can make you blind, but I see you now as we're late. I can't wait to see what you're going to sing next. 
You guys, I've never even been on a plane. This was not on my radar to come to California. It's just a dream come true. Happy you came. Give it up one more time for Richard Goodall. Yes, I'm here right now. Thank you, I got, I got the gold, gold bus. <laughs> I knew, I knew, I told you. <laughs> that was amazing. That was incredible. And this is for you, a little keepsake. Thank you so much. From your golden banner. Thank you. Thank you so much. And where are you boys from? We're from all over the UK. I'm from Kent, Maidstone. Yeah. I'm from Cheshire near Manchester. I'm from Glasgow. Yeah. I'm from Manchester. Yeah. They've got the country covered, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> and because you're from all over the place, how on earth do you get to rehearse? So we meet up in either London, Birmingham or Manchester. Right. And um, so we've had three rehearsals so far for this performance. Only three. Only three. <laughs> yep. Are you feeling nervous? Yeah. All our friends and family are in the audience today and we can't wait to show them how hard we've worked. And I hope they're so proud of us. So, we got this. If you went on to win Britain's Got Talent, what would you spend the money on? So, we would spend it on a new facility, a permanent facility for Phoenix to meet up more often and so that we can have somewhere to go to. And the rest would probably go towards our families and college funds. Amazing. I'm not going to ask you any more questions. I'm just going to say, make the next three or four minutes count. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a feeling, there's a sound, there's a whisper preaching to the choir. Take the leaders and the liars, throw your fears in the sun of your heart. Keep on breathing, don't go under. Brother, sister, father, brother, step into the light and start a tiny path. Stop it, you got to go.
I know how hard it is what you do. Uh, people don't really understand how hard it is to succeed as a dancer. The work that goes into it and the passion and literally you do it for nothing, you do it for love. And, and I felt that. Congratulations, boys. I could see the emotional connection that Bruno felt, and I knew that he could see himself in you. Amanda? I loved it. I loved the choreography. I really loved the power and the energy that you all have. And I love the fact that there's age difference between you all because I can see there's mentoring and care and friendship in this group. So for me, that meant everything. Bruno. I literally can't speak. What really touches people is when you perform from your heart, is the truth of your performance. That's really what remains in people's mind. And you touch me. And I think you touch everybody here. What I really liked about all of you is that you only had a little bit of time to do this. Three rehearsals is nothing. And I think Bruno's given you this great opportunity now that when you come back to the finals, you come back even better than what we saw today. Enjoy this moment. I know this means a lot. Well done. <laughs> that was a good, that was a good escape. Harrison has just left the auditorium. Guys, okay, so I'm just going to take you backstage and we'll take you to our sound team. Hey. Mum got any clues, any idea? No, nothing yet. None of them do. What are you doing for us, Harrison? I'm just singing today. And are you here on your own or with the family? No, but for, funnily enough, I've got my mum, my nan, my dad and my brother here. And they don't know it. So, so they're in the surprise. audience. Yeah, they are. And oh, where sorry, do they man. think you are right now? I'm at the toilet. Brilliant. I'm toilet break. <laughs> it is a good time. Right. <laughs> He's going to miss the next one. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. Have fun. Enjoy. They're up there going like, what? What the hell? What's he doing? He's supposed to be having a wee. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? My name is Harrison. Nice to meet you. Love Where are you from? I'm from Gravesend, Kent. Lovely. How old are you, Harrison? I'm 22. Have you brought anyone along with you today? Funny enough, this is a surprise for my family over there on oh. the left. <laughs> they had no idea this was happening. What? So, did, so were you just with them in the audience? Yeah, I was just sitting there. Oh I was just chilling gosh. there. You went to the toilet. Oh. Oh, that's good. Still in there. <laughs> OK, so do you have a day job? I'm a full-time security guard and a youth worker, so I'm working two jobs at the moment. Oh. Right. You're here. The stage is yours. We wish you the best of luck. Thank Go you. Go for it. Thank you. Come on, Anderson! Come on, Anderson! I picked up your shirt this morning I don't know why I don't know why Mr. Reynolds said to say hello 
And I started to cry I started to cry Every place we've ever walked And everywhere we touched I miss you You never leave my mind So much of you is left behind you. <laughs> Took my days with you. my nights with you good. Good. I keep thinking that you'll be calling everyone says that it's all in my head and that I can't accept it yet I'm not ready to just give in I know that I must live in this pain With these feelings of regret I can comprehend this And pretend that I don't care Took my life with you Took my world with you It's a beautiful song. I know the song very well. It's a favourite of mine. I know Simon loves the song as well. Also, what's, what was beautiful about it is how well you acted it. And you did it from your heart, very genuinely. It was just lovely. Maybe I'm free for it. Maybe I'm out of time. I love your voice. There is a quality to it, especially in the lower register, which is so rich, so deep. It is very rare to get that quality. You're very, very likeable. And, you know, as Amanda said, you did kind of perform the song well. However, you need a lot of practice. You know, if this is your dream to be on the West End, and... No, I get it, you're nervous. I thought that went fantastic, so I'm gonna kick this off with a yes. Bruno? It's a yes for me, definitely. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm going to be honest with you, because... Well... So you've got a good voice. I'm gonna... I'm gonna say yes. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm gonna say yes. I actually 
you don't mind it if somebody's matter. not pitch perfect, but they're He's selling real. it. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, sorry, no, I'm sorry, I'm shaking. I Hello, hello! Welcome to Canada's Got Talent! What are your names? Maria. Nicole. Uh, how do you know each other? They are mother and daughter. And where are you from? They, uh, they are from Ukraine. Thank you for translating, by the way. Thank you. Um, can I ask when, when did you uh, leave the Ukraine? So when did you leave Ukraine? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I oh, love great. that. I keep switching back Let and forth. But you made again. it clear so I you. understood what <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, Lily was asking. Was you understood your own question, which yeah. is great. The yeah. question was, when did you leave the Ukraine? They tried to stay, but it was difficult. You know, they realized that they are not soldiers, and the best way they could fight in this conflict was with their art, and that is why they are here today. Wow. wow. Incredible. Beautiful. So, did you leave anyone or anything behind? Two. Everything. Well, well, I think I speak on behalf of everyone in this room and watching at home when I say we wish you the absolute best. Good luck. Watching you go Watching you walk through the door I see myself in the way that you move wow. Ukraine Think to myself what will I ever do When you go Every bird sooner or later must fly You've never been a possession of mine Who wants a mother and a baby? This I know Ooh. That's the so one So I will see I'm going to start at the end here with Cardi. The amazing thing about getting to be a judge on CGT is you never know what you're going to see on stage. 
Not only did you transform the materials on stage, but you definitely transformed us. What a beautiful and unique way to convey a message. Um, no language needed, so thank you for sharing your story and bringing your gift to our stage. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, not only was it so emotional, it was good. Yeah. For clarity, what did that last uh, statement mean? Together for peace. Together for peace. What a great sentiment. Well, thanks. Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh my. I have something to say. Oh, 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 okay. And I'm a mess right now. I'm so emotional. I barely have a voice. There's so much hate and distress in the world right now. And it's really inspiring watching a mother and daughter come together and feeling their strength. I mean, I am just wrecked and I'm so inspired by you. Thank you for coming to Canada. Thank you for sharing your art with us. You're my golden buzzer. Together for Peace, you are my golden buzzer! Which means you're going straight through to the next round, and it means you've just won $25,000 thanks to CIBC. On connaît que vous êtes tous déjà épuisés de cette guerre là. They understand that uh, everyone is tired to hear about this war. It is not over. There are still other children, other people in Ukraine that need support, that need help. It is beyond important. And uh, this means a lot to them, and they are grateful for tonight. Slava Ukraini! Heroin Slava! Let's hear it one more time for Together for Peace! Hey! My name is Vanessa and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours and do you have more? I have two chihuahuas in my life. One is my son, and the other one was supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. What do you do when you get nervous? Instead of calling it nerves, what I do is call it excitement. Please welcome your house. And I use those nerves to bring me energy. Terry! I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Do you feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. <laughs> it was hard. It really hurt. Hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from it makes the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my glasses. To focus into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. Or is it? Blue Ivy. 
Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama got to host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. Yes, for me. I want Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No. Not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. Freak. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. Jan <laughs> him. They're cheating because they heard you cheating. All right, this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. That is the word. Simon and Howie have won. Thank you for playing Password. Let's do it, everybody. You won a million dollars. Where's the check? Where's the check? Word do you think he's thinking of, and vice versa, what do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your mind. OK. This is a mind-reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Earring and shoe. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nightwish! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> This is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I handsome. swear on my life, that was not press. <laughs> I didn't plan that. We got studied what profession for three years? I know what it was. Dentistry, because she has amazing teeth. She's going to be a dentist. You want to know why I know that? They don't show this backstage. She will actually floss my teeth. Imagine if you turn up and guess who's your dentist, Sofia Vergara. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> It'd be like, you know what? I'll have a filling out a week. How many Emmys have I been nominated for? I'm going to say seven. Two Emmys. Seven times. Let's just go for the seven. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm guessing. I don't know. Four. You didn't let me finish. I was going to say two times two. Well, she should have got more. The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm translating. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia. A lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's okay. nothing... Well, I admit it. I do admit it. Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Sally, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet. You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, oh. it's between the white t shirt <laughs> and the white dress shirt. And, or the bell bottom pants. The white t shirt. The white Simon. Everything! <laughs> Oh, that is everything. It. You know what? <laughs> yeah. I am going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wears. 
Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No. I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that, of Simon. No, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> Howie! You know, we, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard, okay? Let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. 